Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rockman 7 100%. In the last part, we took on Freeze Man and got three of the items already that we need. And now we're going to take on Cloud Man. Watch your step. <laughs> so, I guess this LP isn't very popular so far, but uh, I hope you guys end up enjoying it. Because I'm enjoying it. Um, just an update on the situation with, uh, Rockman and Forte, or Mega Man and Bass. Uh, my brother and I have been doing a practice run of it. Uh, we started playing it the other night, or actually last night, uh, just to see how far we could get, and, uh, we're actually doing pretty well. The two of us make a pretty good team in that game. And the game actually, like, it's, it's hard. It is a hard game, I'm not gonna deny that. It's probably the hardest Mega Man game I know. But it's not unbeatable. I always thought it was unbeatable because it was just so, it was just so, excuse me, it was just so difficult, like, it's got, do I have any lives? I have one, well, I can afford to get this free one then, first of all, um, what you want to do is hit this guy at freeze, and everything snows, now you need to do that, for something later in the stage, well you don't need to, but it makes it a hell of a lot easier if you do. So I'm gonna get this for your life. Back to Rockbuster. Okay. Took him out. Took him out. So yeah, um, Rockman and Forte LP for Power Pals coming eventually. I hope. Anyways. Um, because we are getting through the game, like, I'm actually, I can't believe it, I'm actually getting through the game, and th it's one of my goals to beat that game, it's, because it's, it, it's a good game, it's just so hard, like, it's so, some of you might be going, I think it's not that fucking hard, what are you talking about, uh, it's so hard to me, anyways, there's something here that I never knew you could do, that my brother actually showed me, you can freeze these, I did not know that, I felt so stupid, And that makes it easier to use the platforms. Um, it actually might be a little good to keep ice out here just because you can uh, aim at an arc and get some of these assholes. Oh, you can't shoot it when you're standing on it. Okay. See, that makes it easier because then you can. You're not guessing all your jumps. Okay, so, here we go. See, now those platforms are frozen because we froze everything over. Normally, at this part, these platforms wouldn't appear. They just keep disappearing. But because we did what we did to that weather robot, we can now see the platform. So, take out my rush coil, jump up here, get myself another free life. And, uh, you can make this jump, but I'm not gonna risk it, so... And there we go! There's the U! So, that's two of the letters. Um, and I think this is the only secret I have to get in this stage. Oh, there's actually one more secret I have to get. Um... It's not a big secret, but, uh, it's a secret to everybody, you know. Uh... But yeah, it's just, it's it's not anything substantial, but you need to get it to unlock another secret. It's one of those. I didn't actually have to go up there. So, Sniper Joe, round two, I guess. Sniper Joe looks really detailed in this game. I like the way he looks. So before, he just looked like a guy who was like, nothing but armor and a gun. That's what Sniper Joe looked like to me. This guy, so, okay. Take this guy at first. Alright. Switch to Rush Coil. And let's go up here. What's that whistle? Okay, so yeah, this is Proto Man. He's saying stuff in Japanese. He's basically telling us to uh, go to the forest and burn it. If you've ever seen uh, <laughs> Game Grumps. I'm, I'm sorry, I just think of that now. Like, you did what? For me, totally too. Okay, I, I, I won't quote the whole thing, I promise. 
I, like, I never thought of that. Like, he tells you to go burn the forest. Like, I always knew it because it was a secret. Oh, my God. Get the bolt. Get the goddamn bolt. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, I got it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this spot right here is the perfect grinding spot because that. If you need to get, uh, or farming spot, I should say, if you need to get bolts. But I don't need bolts. Um... Uh, the, I mean, wow, did that really just happen? Oh, I'm all the way back here? God damn it. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, I wasn't sure about that, so... Oh my god, I can't believe I gotta go through all this again. I was almost there, too. I thought there'd be another checkpoint. I guess not. The game isn't that generous with checkpoints. Well, this just adds another two, three minutes I gotta do of gameplay now. Uh. So this is how, well, at least I can show how the stage normally looks. And your only way of knowing where the platforms are is letting items fall on them or have enemies touch them, you know. That's your only way of knowing. Well, now I could actually use the health, but I think I used it up. I don't think it respawns. Oh, it does. Okay, well, I'll take it. Alright, uh, come on, Super Charlie. Come on. I'm hoping to get two stages in this one part. That's my hope, anyways. And those guys, of course, break off if you only kill the bottom part of their body. Oh, the bolt response, too. Well, pff, I'll take a free bolt. Why the hell wouldn't you? As my dad says, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you, Dad? Why wouldn't you? Ah, I love my dad. He was a little grumpy last night, though. He's in pain. So he's, uh, he's got some neck and back pain. And his knee, he has a sore knee. He's getting to that. Well, his birthday actually was last week, too. But we celebrated his birthday. Um, the 20th. So, happy, happy late birthday to my dad, my LP, I guess. Um, you know, I already said happy birthday to him a bunch of times, but, uh, yeah, um, he's 53, I think? 53, 54? One of those ages. So, he's getting up there. He's not as limber as he used to be. Fuck. Cloud Man's got me good, actually. He picked a good spot to attack me. I might. Whoa. I have some slowdown going on here. Ah, he got me good. He cornered me there. That was the problem. I thought about going through him and then I'm like, eh. You can't be indecisive with this game. Never usually have problems with Cloud Man. Wow. Am I off my A game today? I'm getting to 10 minutes here. So yeah, three times and he'll go back down. But yeah, he's not too tough. Just gotta make sure you don't fall off. That's the biggest thing. It's best to stay on the side that has more room. Like this one. Right now, I don't even care about getting hit or not, because he's almost dead, so... <coughs> so there we go. 
this Cloud Man down, and that took longer than it, than I thought it would. I apologize. Hopefully, the next boss won't take me too long. But yeah, so now that we got this, uh, my obvious choice now is Junk Man. So I'm gonna go for him once all this Japanese text is done. <laughs> Autos, I flipped around and he caught it. That's funny. So there we go. You get Thunder Strike. It's funny because in the English version it's called Thunderbolt and it's called T Bolt. We call him T Bolt. Sup, T Bolt? Alright, so, on to Junk Man. Junk Man also has a, uh, a couple of secrets we're gonna get. Um, and, uh, of course we're gonna fight him too. Now, we're gonna have to backtrack for one of the secrets because you actually skip it, getting the one that I'm, tr that I'm aiming for. So, there will be a little bit of backtracking, but... It's... It's very minor. I'm gonna try my best not to backtrack if possible. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's inevitable. Like in this stage, it's got multiple paths, so... Damn, that gave me a lot of, uh, energy, so... I guess after I get the... I could always do both, I guess. There's a possibility. I'd have to lose a life, but... I could do both. So now, this is what we want. We want to get our freeze crack right here. And freeze the lava, which doesn't make sense at all, but it is totally awesome. So what you want to do is go down here. And freeze that. And as you pro probably may have saw, the S. Yes. So, there's the S. Ooh, I just walked into that one. That would not have been pretty. How many lives do I actually have? I have one and then there's a zero life, so... Hmm. Now there's a free life coming up. Yeah, right there. Can I go back? Is the lava back? No, it's still frozen. Um, because uh, now that I got that free life, I want to take the other path. So I can just stand here and get hit by it. Oh, it doesn't do any damage to me. Oh well, um, I might as well get hit by these guys then. The reason I'm doing this is because there's another path, and I don't want to have to backtrack. I think I just made... I think I made that clear. So whatever. Ah, come on. Which means I won't have, uh... I'll have to... Well, Junkman isn't hard, so I'm not worried. So we're back here. I'm still gonna freeze everything, because that makes it ten times easier. I gotta start doing that. Anyways, so yeah, so that's through that. These guys give a lot of bolts to cockroaches. Okay, so this is where I wanted to be. So what you do is you take out your T-Strike and you uh, load these guys up with power. You have to be very careful here too because you can get crushed. So, be as careful as you possibly can. You know, this is where the fun is. Because you can't, you, you can get crushed here too, so just be careful. Ah, shit. There we go. There. 
Rush Jet. There, that's the other secret. Got it. Good. So now we just gotta beat the stage. And again, you can't get crushed here too, so... Be careful of that. I don't even bother with these junk, junk bosses. There's some lag going on. I think it's computer lag. I think the computer does... I don't think uh, the emulator is like recording more than 15 minutes. But uh, it's going to have to do it, so... It doesn't really have a choice here in the matter. Let's jump up from here. Damn it. Robo Stink. I don't need that. Son of a bitch. Now I'll get you. We're almost at the boss. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, the door's right there. <laughs> Okay, so, I'm gonna go ahead and botch this light, just so you guys can see this pattern. And because, uh, I'm gonna need, a uh, let me just check, actually. I have, yeah, I want to fight him with full health, even though I have his weakness. So, yeah, I'll just show you what he's like normally. Pain in the ass. Well, not as big as a pain in the ass. I've beaten him first before, but... It's just, uh, the big part is when he gets his junk shield, because nothing does damage to him, and then he uses it against you. He's actually not too bad, but it's just annoying is what the problem is. Alright. Excuse me. Jump over him like that, and this is how you beat him if you don't have his weakness, which it's not too hard to get his weakness, so I don't see why you would. Am I actually gonna beat him? <laughs> Damn, I beat him. Well, shit. Isn't that lucky to me? That was funny. I should have used the weakness. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I guess it's cool that I beat him on screen with, uh, with the Buster. And now rolls here? They switch up? Wait, okay, in the English version, it's just Dr. Light who tells you about the weapons. Not roll or auto. I just realized that. That's another difference. I wonder why they did that. Hmm. Maybe because they got something humorous to say. Because it looked like Mega Man there had like a dot dot dot. Anyways, we got Junk Shield. And that's our password. Alright. Next time, guys, on Let's Play Rock Man 7 100%, we will go take on Burst Man. See you then.